Mathematics skills across the country have been falling for two decades. At the end of last year, almost half of Australia's 15-year-olds were failing to achieve national standards in key areas of math, science and reading. And it's maths that's declining most rapidly of the three over the past 20 years. But what if that's because we're learning the wrong type of maths, a maths that is to Western. That's what the Australian National University is asking. They're bringing in professors to teach Indigenous mathematics since the original curriculum was apparently too racist and Western-centric. Professor Rowena Ball insists one effect of colonisation of the curriculum is defensive protection of what is thought to be an exclusively European and British provenance of mathematics. What the general public think of as mathematics tends to be whatever they learned or more likely did not learn at school. But in many Indigenous societies, mathematics is lived from when you are born to when you rejoin your ancestors. Numbers, arithmetic and accounting are apparently, I don't know, of secondary importance to Indigenous mathematics, according to this professor. It's about patterns and relationships to people and the earth. Joining me now is Colleen Harkin, National Manager of the Institute of Public Affairs Class Action Program. Colleen, uh, how can the study of numbers be colonial? I thought the beauty of maths was there was only one right answer. It's a curious position to take, Rita, um, because maths you know, operates on logic and reason and it's devoid of any kind of human perceptional bias. Uh, Pythagoras theory, regardless of where you are, holds true. doesn't matter what your background is, where you are in the world, what suburb you live in. Uh, a triangle will always be 180 degrees and a circle will always be 360 degrees. Mm. So it's a curious accus accusation to make, but it's quite... Um, it's very worrying because the, the, uh, this is a trend in uh, training across the world. It's not just here, it's in the UK, it's in America, it's in England, and it's perpetrating through our curriculum through the schools as well, through the junior schools. Well, this is what I'm worried about because it's one thing to have this sort of uh, education in, in universities and college, but how prevalent is it in the curriculum in, in primary and secondary schools? So uh, it starts at the universities. So the univer we've done, IPA has done uh, an audit and a research program on what's being taught in the university. So those people who are going through initial teacher training, um, of the give or take 3,700 units that are on offer, about a third of those are what I'll call woke. Mm. And only about 10% are dedicated to learning to teach the core skills of reading, writing and arithmetic. Wow. So out of a four year um, initial teacher training course, about more than a year is, is spent on woke uh, content and very little, only 10% is dedicated to those core skills. And so when you come down to the national curriculum, what children are being taught in, for example, grade prep and grade one is counting through Aboriginal dance. And so the core counting skills... Counting through Aboriginal dance? Correct. It's a recommendation in the cross-curriculum priorities. OK. Uh, and as they get older, um, one of the things that they do is do statistics through uh, the reconciliation barometer. So uh, this sort of uh, cross-curriculum priority of Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islanders' histories and culture permeates through, it, through every, every subject. And you would have thought that it was difficult to do it through in maths, but it, uh, it's, it still happens. This is astonishing and it's astonishing because it's happening at a time when our results are going downhill and at a rapid rate in, yep. in some areas. I mean, how can we be worried about European and British mathematics uh, when, you know, so much of maths from what I understand uh, came from Middle East, Islamic, yep. Indian origins and... and like this obsession with uh, decolonising the curriculum, including maths, I know where it comes from, but how do we combat it? How, well, how do we fight this yeah, ideology? And it's, it's an interesting sort of um, deliberate ignorance of the rich culture of the background of, yeah. of maths. I mean, I'm no historian, but, uh, you know, the earliest mathematicians were the, uh, in Mesopotamia, which is current-day Iraq. Uh, ancient Greece were great con contributors, the Romans, the Chinese, mm. uh, Persian father of algebra, um, the, the Mexican, the Central Americans with the uh, contribution in the, the number of zero. Mm. I mean, it is literally a multi-ethnic collaboration. So the idea that uh, it's white supremacist racist is really curious. 
Oh, it is. And uh, I've seen this sort of ideology at play in blue states in America, the Democrat-run places where they've tried to decolonise the curriculum and maths has been a target. You know, even the suggestion of two plus two equals four is, is racist. You've got to look at things in a different light.